morning, Sir Irving. Medyo ma-traffic, kaya medyo maaga tayo. Thank you. Time's really fast. Vacation's finished, back in Doha, back to work, time to wake up, and I'm still snoring. Alright, just hopped on to our service vehicle. Oh, by the way, future Arvin here. <clears throat> I'm having my lunch. You might notice that I have been wearing different shirts. I'm having a long hair to short hair. That's because I have been filming this for a span of a year. From a summer to a winter to a summer again. A span of a year. So, yeah, that's the reason. Just, just bear with the, with the sequence because that's what my typical day in the life so yeah enjoy and uh, i'll have to finish this time to go straight to the office but first seat belt and welcome to a day in the life of an overseas worker my version aka my daily routine and it's pretty much been the same for the last eight years here in qatar in my previous project, I used to wake up by 5 a.m. but with my current one, I am waking up by around 6.15 a.m. Take a bath, get dressed, and take a 20 to 30 minute ride to our site office. And if you didn't know, I am a document controller working in a construction consultancy company. And welcome to my office! Thank you! <sighs> Time to work! I know my work is not as thrilling and exciting just like any other office job. It's the same old routine inside the rat race. Wake up, go to work, go home, and pay the bills at the end of the month. Thank you. So the question is, if you are a foreign worker, what's keeping you up? What keeps you motivated, especially working outside your country, away from your family and loved ones? Foreign worker, migrant and immigrant worker, overseas worker, these are some of the terms that are being used to describe us. In the Philippines, they call us the modern day heroes, but being one is not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of sheer sacrifices to leave your comfort, but we do this for our loved ones. So how is it to be working away from your home? I asked some of my friends and colleagues this question and here's what they have to say. How is it to be working abroad, away from your family? Yeah, first of all, hi to your YouTube family. Uh, I'm, Ali. I'm working here from last two years in abroad. Our family is in our home country and we are working here for the good of our family. So we are doing like we are doing compromise. It is difficult to live here without family. Ako po ay si Raquel, uh, OFW, uh, ng years na ba ako? More than 7 years. Actually, tuntua ako ngayon. Fair play ako kasi sobrang katuwaan. Um, actually, mahirap malayo sa family. Yun yung masaya kung may iyak. Sears of happiness. Actually, kakatanggap ko lang ng balita na kung laudi yung anak ko. <laughs> Kaya, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Ito po, may sakto ang papansit, may, mon- may konting celebration dito ng hindi sinasadya. <laughs> Uh, pagkakatanggap ng magandang balita. Ang OFW, magkakaiba ng ano eh, ng karanasan ng ng uh, experiences. experiences dito sa abroad. Sa 15 year, almost 15 years ko dito. Alhamdulillah na pag-aral ko yung mga anak ko, pagtapos ko ng kolehiyo, yung dalawa kong anak nakatapos na. So nandito na, kasama ko na rin sila. Tapos mayroon pa akong dalawang anak na nasa Pinas na nag-aaral pa rin. Yung isa naman nag-OJT na. So, siya lang malapit na matapos ang aking, ang aking uh, pagtiti. Napakahirap. Dahil uh, minsan naranasan ko na umuwi ako ng almost 7 years bago ako umuwi. Kasi nga, iniisip ko yung paparal ng aking mga anak. So, imbes na iuwi ko na lang, papadala ko na lang yung ano aking gagastusin para sa ticket para sa expenses kung sa aling ako yung uwi so ginawa ko, pinadala ko na lang para makaraos ang pag-aaral ko papasalamat naman ako talaga sa Panginoon na napagtapos ko yung dalawa ko anak na ngayon dire-diretso pa yung pag-aaral ng dalawa kong natitirang anak so, yeah. What is like to be an OFW? For me as a parent actually okay lang kasi I have my family with me my husband and my three kids pero, uh, medyo malungkot kasi uh, my parents are not here. Although my papa is here, but only sometimes kami nakikita. Pero ang mama ko, especially matagal ko na rin siyang hindi nakita. Five years na. Although 15 years na ako sa Qatar, five years ko na siyang hindi nakita. So, yun yung mahirap. Yung hindi mo nakita yung parents mo. Although nakakausap ko siya, yun yung mahirap. So, how is it to be working away from your family? Please let me know your experience in the comment section. Time check, 12.07, 12.08. I will be checking in at 3 p.m. We are here with Uncle JC. And the last minute decision, we are going to Top Cebu. Going... <laughs> And we are here at Top's Lookout, Top Cebu. It is We're really having a really good view here. You can really see the overview of Cebu. I never thought that we can still visit this place, this beautiful view here, but thanks to Uncle JZ. Thank you, Uncle, for the last minute. <laughs> Instead of him taking us to the airport, and uh, I will be checking in at 3. We just decided to, yeah, just have a quick view here. All right, time to go and catch my flight. Goodbye, Cebu Tops. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Uncle. Bye. What did you get? Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Drama drama pa doon. <laughs> drama drama muna doon. <laughs> Sige ingat so God bless. How is it for me as an overseas Filipino worker? From high school to college, I used to study in a boarding school and even after college, I worked far from our home. So leaving the Philippines in 2014 was not a problem for me since I'm already used to it. But things have changed now. You know that you know that feeling when you see your wife's or your loved one's eyes getting teary as you leave have a heavy heart walking in the airport. This is the part that I really hate leaving your loved ones to go abroad. Some OFWs like caregivers would leave their children to take care of others' child. My dad used to be an OFW since I was little and he would come and go each year. As a kid, it feels okay when he leaves the country. Now I truly understand how it feels to leave your family. Boarding the plane now. I'm getting 
gonna be offline for at least nine hours. And yeah, goodbye Philippines, and that concludes my vacation. And so I'm back to Qatar at time check it's 12 30 a.m. So good morning. And that's it. I'm back from vacation and uh, let me show that to you.